were they aware that Trump was going to come? Or was that a surprise to No. Were you aware? Yeah. Okay. I knew. Okay. They what did they know. say to you about, you know, like, I want to do this, or did you ask? What do you mean? Did you ask Trump to call you? Or did no, I talked to, the, I talked to the president earlier today. And, um, you know, I know that uh, some media organization, I don't know who said that he was going to be in Atlanta. I knew that wasn't going to be the case because he's coming in tomorrow. And he was just like, you know, what are we doing? I said, well, you know, I can just call you in. He goes, okay. And so then that's when he, when I called in, and obviously I think we were talking about deregulation at the time. And then after that, it was like, well, just let people ask questions to the president. And I think if that's what people see, you have somebody who's willing to engage and talk to voters. I mean, he's on a, he's on a phone. He can't see who's there. And so it's just really us in the room just talking. And I think it was a good thing for people to see. Uh -huh. What's up, man? Oh, y'all ask the same question at the same time. Uh, Here's what I know. I'm not telling you anything. I know that. Oh, uh, no, we haven't talked much about it. Um, he's, he's in that mode, I think, right now where he's going to make a decision. Um, see what happens. Uh, well, no, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Well, look, I, I think, and again, this is me talking. I, I think that, you know, obviously you got to have somebody who can hit the campaign trail and, uh, and take, you know, the America First agenda everywhere. Um, I think secondarily it's going to be about who's going to be a, a partner when he's back in the White House to make sure that the agenda, you know, moves through Congress. And it also helps to take that message everywhere because, you know, the, the political attacks, unfortunately, never stop. They just they, they continue. And so you're going to have to be, have an ability to, uh, to push the message, push the agenda, get that accomplished, and then you got to take that back out to the American people so they know what's coming, they know what's happening, and then you can see the marked improvement in their lives. I think those are important things. And then on a foreign policy perspective, be able to be uh, in support of the president, his vision, his agenda, to get our foreign policy back in shape. What makes you think you're still playing? What makes you think you're still playing? All you guys keep talking about it. That's why. Tomorrow night, what do you what do you wait for President Trump? What do you support like what is you know say a message border, inflation, economy? What do you think he has to do to get a victory tomorrow night? I think to simply just talk about what his agenda is, his agenda when he was president, that the people remember in our country, and how um, you know he will be a significantly um, up, a significant upgrade, significantly better president than Joe Biden. Um, and I think as long as he stays in that lane, uh, things will be good to go. Um, you know, this is a weird debate format by all the rules that I've seen. So we'll see how it kind of goes. Um, but look, I think the president and his agenda. How he's been communicating with voters across the country, relaying that in the debate, he'll be just fine. He'll come out with uh, flying colors. He said there's a guy who basically went right into the black community. Yeah. Black people, are, I think black people are sick and tired of being sick and tired. You know, inflation comes for everybody. It doesn't see skin color. Uh, open borders comes for everybody. It doesn't see skin color. You know, our, you know, our men and women in uniform, if they're at risk because of terrible foreign policy, that comes for a soldier, whether you're white or black or whatever. And I think black people are seeing that and they're saying enough is enough. And even in here, talking to just, you know, black men who, who are involved locally here in Atlanta, run businesses here in Atlanta, you can hear the frustration in, in their voice. And I think that as long as, as Republicans and with the Trump campaign, as long as we take that message directly to them, those votes will be there. All right, guys, take it easy.